So here we are at the 1940s ball. I'm talking to Jeff. Jeff, what are you doing here? Well, what a, is your position here? I'm a reenactor with the 40 Thieves Reenactment Group. Okay. This is all privately owned stuff. We're kind of just like military geeks. We're the collectors of military memorabilia from bicycles to Sherman tanks to tents to all the trinkets. We try to stay all original from from the canteen cups to the to the French girls to and the come on in, you know, Dave. Try, to the Dave, mechanics. Right? Eric. Eric, I'm sorry. This is Eric. Not Dave. <laughs> He's a mechanic. Eric is our tank mechanic and fixes everything on site. Yeah, so we try to stay authentic and cover it's working. It's working well. <laughs> so where is that? Was that actually called the Big Barbie? Well, Big or not? Big Barbie is the name of the owner's wife. Her name oh. is Barb. Oh. So he named the Big Barbie. She's not a big woman. Don't get that wrong. <laughs> okay. But she does own a tank, so you can't argue anything with Big Barbie. Oh, that's terrific. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, hon. This year's 1940s ball gave me a chance to peek into a time gone by, into the generation we call the greatest. Their tanks, their planes, their jeeps and scooters. The annual ball offers a chance to celebrate and dress up to honor those who came before us. Dressing in retro and vintage clothing is of course de rigueur. There were soldiers and sailors and airmen, including the women's Air Force service pilots and nurses in white stockings. A couple thousand people in their best 40s bib and tucker poured into the Boulder Airport to enjoy the exhibits and big band music and swing dancing. We did too. My best guy, Bob Williams, and I. We'll see you later. Bye.